capture. All right. So I don't know if this is interesting or not. Uh, this is our base in our bases in Grounded. Me and some friends have been playing for about three weeks. Uh, this is the last bat, the last base we uh, made. Uh, anyway, we have built skyways everywhere. So uh, let me grab some mushrooms just so I don't run out. And I will show you our skyway. You can see we're on the far end of the world with the uh, rock garden. And <clears throat> then our skyway goes this way above the stink bugs. Uh, I don't know if we set out to build all this stuff. I think partly what happened is that we built our first base and we didn't cover the ground with clay. There, there's a stink bug down there. We didn't uh, cover the ground with clay and then the grass grows through our base and so we're forced to cut the grass down every day which means there's a pile of grass which means we got to build something always. Maybe that was the intent. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so like the last previous base we built was this one which is over the anthill. It was like, hey, let's just build a base over the anthill. Why not? <clears throat> so, yeah, here's the big anthill. And another base. Eat some Whoa. mushrooms and grab some new ones. <clears throat> uh, I guess as long as we have the ant armor on, we're fine. We haven't tried walking around here without the ant armor to see what they do. This is more like here, we, this, this staircase to the left didn't used to be here, but we had stuff to spend, grass to spend, so we made it. Uh, this, this little thing here so you don't fall off <laughs> when you're running up this way. <clears throat> Sometimes it's hard to connect stuff. I, I kind of wish uh, they would work on making this easier. I think if I try to pick a, uh, a staircase here, like getting it to appear just under is impossible. So basically, yeah, you gotta jump. Uh, basically, if we're forced to put staircases every once in a while, just to have access to more grass. So they aren't there for access to the world, although that is nice. Um, they're there for access to more grass. This area, I'm assuming it's everywhere, has like five spiders. So there's one down there. There was the one we just saw over there. Uh, I don't see those two right now. I've seen a bug where they popped up all the way up here once. I think they probably stepped on a piece of grass and the grass lifted them up. That was kind of scary. My original reason for building this was I thought, oh, maybe I can shoot arrows down here and kill them. But they run away if you're, if they're, if you're like not on the ground and you shoot arrows. <clears throat> So yeah, more staircases here. But this is the same thing. You build the staircase and then the grass like grows through the staircase and so you have to cut the grass and now you have more grass you have to use. Uh, this is our original base, which uh, we've turned into this kind of Escher-esque thing because you can like, you know, walk this way and then walk this way and then maybe up this way and over this way. This is all just like, hey, we need, we had grass to spin, so <clears throat> you can walk over this and down this, and yeah, built a staircase down the back, because why not? We built these planks, they're kind of useless, because you just, we always have too much grass. And I think we've trimmed the grass, but if I come back in a couple days, there's basically grass growing through all of this. So, like this one here, right, is kind of sticking out. I guess we trimmed this recently. This one's growing up through... Uh, yeah, um, this is a pretty good place to build a base because there's no bugs around here. It's close to everything. There's almost everything you need nearby. There's even sap in this tree. Um, I think at the moment you can see when we chop stuff down, there's just stuff sitting around down here. 
be nice if I can visit the whole thing before I run out of daylight. But I think the first, yeah, like grass that grown up to this. So we have a, a trestle going to the oak tree. Um, this is something I think they changed at the end of the last update. But there is always a grub at the end of this end of this trestle, and it makes a loud noise when it comes out. Uh, almost always, and it always startles me. Uh, yesterday we were working on finishing this. Well, I don't finish is the right word. Uh, finishing this trestle, and yeah, I'm gonna run out of daylight before I can visit all of our stuff. Uh, a couple of players learned, maybe this was on the internet, I don't know how they knew this. Uh, whenever they're going to fight a spider, they will build a lean-to right next to the spider. So that if they die, they can respawn right there. This is a small base, they built this lean-to to fight some spiders. So this is the end of this, but we recently added the trestles to connect it. And... Yeah, I don't know what we're missing. I mean, uh, Virgil's given us some <coughs> missions, but, you know, he's like, kill, we had to kill three wolf spiders before, so he's just kind of repeating missions at this point, which is not so fun uh, to do the same things again. Uh, we haven't got any level three stuff except the, the Might Mallet, so maybe that's what we should concentrate on. That whole giant tower there was just, again, like we had stuff to spend, so spend it. <laughs> uh, it has no purpose other than to waste all the resources that keep piling up. Like, we have to, you know, we'll come by and we'll cut this shit down. And then uh, later we'll want to clean it up and kind of put it somewhere. So build more stuff. This trestle goes, I think, all the way over to the rake. I think it was one of the first ones we built, but we only built it to about here, and then stopped. And then at some point, uh, like, okay, let's make it further. So you, you build a staircase so you can get close to the grass, and then <clears throat> you don't have to carry the grass too far, and then you keep building. Uh, I think we built it to here and stopped. And then at some point I built this uh, staircase and connected it to the existing trestle. And then, yeah, I think we got it. I don't know how far, it's not going to go much too much further. We came over here to fight some, to fight a wolf spider last time. Burgle gave us like fight five wolf spiders. Oop, there's a spider down there or uh, something. Oh, the stink bug all the way over here? I don't think, I think that's new. Um, yeah, this is the end, but there's a staircase here, so we can come back. I don't I don't remember there being a stink bug here. Maybe my friends killed it before I got over here. I'm not sure building these trestles is a good idea, because, you know, I think if you wander down below, you'll end up collecting a lot more resources. But, it's safe. <laughs> or relatively. I was worried when I heard about the bird that the bird was going to come down and destroy the trestle, but I guess the bird doesn't actually do much so far. Uh, yeah. I guess while I'm here, I'll walk up the tower once. Hopefully I have enough uh, dandelion to get back down without having to do anything fancy. Yeah, at some point we just say, okay, that's enough. Stop building. So, yeah, we built all those lights, and then, okay, fine, we got more stuff to spend. Let's keep going. <laughs> so then we built up to the roof and put a bunch of uh, lamps, uh, which is silly, but whatever. Okay, down. Oh, okay. 
So then there's this trestle on the side, which goes all the way to the bird bath, basically. Yeah, running out of light. So this is an example, like all this grass is growing through here, and then you go down and there's some pile of, uh, pile of grass planks. And, uh, you gotta spend them. Yeah, another bridge. This is the one I started, but it only goes to about there. There's another bridge down to continue this. couple of larva over that way, but I don't see them right now. Yeah, here we go again, more grass that has to be cut. Well, it doesn't have to be cut, but yeah, it gets in the way and then you're like, okay, I'm going to cut it. So yeah, we also built a base over here we first made it over to the side of the world and yeah you can see it's not totally connected but uh let's see let's eat and eat, worse, I guess. and eat and drink and drink Wait, what oh, i'm pressing the wrong button oh hydration is the key to performance I do that a lot. I press R when I meant to press E. <laughs> um, anyway, the last things we built. Oh, man, I'm carrying something slow. Okay. Is uh, there's a couple staircases. One to get up over there in the garden, and one to get up here on the bird bath. I don't know if there's some other way we're supposed to get up here, like climb the tree and fight a bunch of animals, or fight a bunch of insects, or what. But I was just like, screw it. I'm going up the. I'm going up. I don't remember if I finished this. First off, we got it up to here, and we just followed this branch. But I think I finished it. Yeah. So get up here. Anyway. Yeah, that's our uh, giant trestle. <laughs> I'm sure other people have done similar things. Uh, I wish there was more to do in the game. I feel like we've exhausted everything there is, and so I don't know if we're going to play much more. Uh, we did find the base and the tree over there, but uh, we didn't find the entrance at first. A friend said there's a broken window somewhere, but I haven't gone and checked it out. Uh, there's even a base down here. Uh, well, not a base. There's a lean-to down here. Where'd the birdbath go? Right here. Oh, and a crow feather. I guess I should grab that. I can't even see. Safety first. Okay. <laughs> All right, crow feather stuff. Uh, hello. All right, the end.